Hi guys and welcome to a vlog which has been a couple of weeks in the making because I've been a bit slack. Um, yeah, just, I don't know, I'm, I'm a bit concerned about um, content um, and making sure that I've got something for you to listen to or watch that's worthwhile. Um, and I get a bit concerned that I'm just repeating myself over and over again with the, the vlogs that I've been doing. Um, so, I guess the biggest thing has been my health lately. Um, I went to the doctor and was complaining about uh, reflux. Um, you know, waking up in the middle of the night and having to throw up immediately. Uh, not a good feeling. Um, anyway, I was put on Nexium and it's been about an 80% reduction in my anxiety symptoms. Um, I was speaking to my specialist today and she's like, stick with it. Um, I might go see a gastroenterologist. I have got a doctor's appointment this afternoon, so uh, that might be a possibility. Um, I'm wearing my Star Trek uniform, as you can see, or I've been told it looks like Star Trek uniform. Um, <laughs> uh, there hasn't been all that much going on, really. Um, uh, I have been backing up my NAS server, which is my network attached storage uh, device, which holds all my videos and audio and important documents and my clients' uh, documents as well, I should say. Uh, so I'm backing that up to the cloud using a service called iDrive. Um, now they have an option where you can send a drive in um, to be backed up. I didn't realize at the time that they actually send you the drive uh, and uh, they take it and they do that once a year um, for free. Um, the service, in fact, only costs about $30 for the first year, and you can get that back by doing a review, um, which I've done. So it's cost me nothing to, do, to get uh, just under five terabytes of um, data storage. I'm currently backing it up. It's been running for around about uh, 14 days or more, um, and I'm at about 65%. It's doing five megabits per second. Uh, which is not exactly that fast. I thought if I upped my uh, MBN plan that that might make a difference, but it actually hasn't. Um, so yeah, just slowly uh, transferring all that data very very slowly at five megabits per second. Um, so I was better off to stick with the 5020 plan rather than the 140 plan. So that's 100, da um, 100 down and 40 up. Um, a lot of people don't know what plans that they should be using. Um, I guess the, the average users, at home users, really should be 50-20. If you've got a family that's streaming a lot of uh, Netflix, etc., then you'd probably want to go to 140. Um, but for my purposes, 50-20 is fine, um, and we make use of that quite well. Uh, I've been wanting to book a trip somewhere, but um, fly costs are just, uh, you know... I guess the inflation and, and with what's going on with petrol prices in the world um, and just the general cost of living going up has uh, made it quite difficult to grab a bargain, I guess you could say. I'm a keen Ausbargain website user um, and I can just see that the bargains are just not there anymore. Um, th there's particular periods of the year where you can snap up some really good bargains, but um, in general, the bargains uh, are really hard to come by. But check out the website, it's ozbargain.com.au, see what you think. Um, I constantly monitor it for anything that uh, might catch my eye and uh, might want to get. Um, we've had uh, extensive mould in the house um, from all the wet weather, and we've basically had to go f right through the place, wiping everything down with uh, vinegar. Um, and water solutions, um, had to wash everything, all clothes, linen, etc. Um, it has been a massive, massive task. Um, we're actually thinking about getting a cleaner to come in um, occasionally just to do some of the, I guess, stuff we just don't get around to doing. Um, and I'd rather have a professional do it and make it look really cool and, um, and be a bit more homely um, because I guess the cleaning gets on top of us, really, uh, with what we've got to do in our daily lives. Um, yeah, um, how do you go with cleaning the house? I'd like to know. 
Um, is it something you do on a daily basis, weekly, fortnightly, monthly, quarterly? <laughs> um, I mean, what things do you make sure you do each week? Um, and how do you fit in those jobs that need to get done occasionally? Um, do you mark them out in the calendar or something? Um, I'd like to know. Anyhow, that's probably the vlog for this week. Um, if you've got some topics you'd like me to discuss, oh, let me just quickly add a couple of things. Jimmy did uh, mention to me he wanted to know some of the uh, Queensland's uh, locations that are a bit weird and wacky. Um, so I've got a couple. There's a transmission site here on the Sunshine Coast, not that far away from where I live, and it's called Bald Knob. That's B-A-L-D-K-N-O-B. Uh, I find that a hilarious name for a location. Um, there's also another one up near the Cairns, I think, called Yorkie's Knob. Um, and I just think, who was who? Who was thinking up this these names? Um, they're crazy. Um, there's the whole heap of them, and I'll probably look through the the postcodes to to check out some others. Um, and make you laugh a little bit, but uh, I guess there's there's funny names every state that you go to, um, and it's funny when you break down the socio economics or uh, demographics um, of areas and you compare them to other cities, particularly metropolitan suburbs. Um, you know, something like Sydney's Mount Druitt. What's the, what's the equivalent of that in Melbourne or Brisbane? Um, I'd love to see one of those circular emails go around again and, and sort of compare the, the suburbs uh, between the states um, because I get a real kick out of it. Um, you do know what I'm talking about. Um, there are those places that you do go to and you don't go to. Um, you, you avoid at all costs. Anyway, that's it for uh, the vlog this week or today. Um, I will try to get some more vlogs up and running. Thank you very much for your time. Bye.